In other cultures, all of them are dismissed as angels. But here, different quality beings have been identified as different types. You call for a particular being for a particular kind of benefit, so that you have an advantage of achieving things much more than you would do by your normal strength and capabilities. In this tradition, we have various kinds of beings. They are all particularly identified according to their quality. We have humans and of course the animal nature and all those things that you can see in… around you. Those beings that you cannot see, there are some which we call as Bhuta Preta category. There are other beings that we call as yakshas. There are other kinds of beings that we call as gandharvas. And there are devas. So based on this, there are tree gods, there are monkey gods, there are elephant gods, there is fruit god, there is vegetable god, there is flower god. For everything there is a God. So these yagnas were processes through which you can find access to certain forces in the existence so that you have an advantage of achieving things much more than you would do by your normal strength and capabilities. A ritual through which uh, you can please certain forces in the existence. In other cultures, generally they have not been properly identified and classified, all of them are dismissed as angels. But here, different quality beings have been identified as different types and accordingly you call for a particular being for a particular kind of benefit, there is a whole process in science behind it. Even today, and just that little offering, everything is a sacrifice, everything is a yagna.